I was having a conversation with a client recently and they said, you know, why were you talking to the prosecutor? Like you guys were friends. Spoiler tip, it's because we are. But is that okay? Is that allowed? Let's talk about it. I'm Josh Campson. I'm a criminal defense attorney. I help people fight their charges so they can move on with their lives. The short answer is you can absolutely be friends. I'm friends with many prosecutors, not as many as I used to be, mostly because they've left prosecutors' offices, but I'm still friends with plenty of prosecutors. How can that be, right? Clients say to me, what do you mean you're friends with the prosecutor? What do you mean you know the prosecutor? And the reaction is either, oh, that's great. They're going to give us a good deal. Or what do you mean? Does that mean you're working with them and you're going to throw me under the bus? Neither is really true. It's just like any job. We're on opposite sides. Any good attorney should be able to put the case to the side. In other words, if you have an attorney that's so wrapped up in the case emotionally that they can't talk to the other attorney uh, objectively, that's a problem. Because the job as a lawyer is to objectively evaluate the case and say to the client, here's the course of action that's in your best interest. Just like it's my job or any lawyer's job to go to the other side and say, here's why you're wrong, here's why your case is crap, and here's why my client should get whatever, a better plea offer or a reduced sentence or charges dismissed or whatever the case may be. And of course, you know, if you're friends with that person, the hope is that they take you seriously. But even if you're not friends with that person, person, if you have a reputation of being a good litigator and a good lawyer, they're going to take you seriously. The bigger problem becomes when people think, oh, you're friends with this prosecutor, you're going to throw it, you know, you're going to work for them, you're not going to fight as hard. That couldn't be further from the truth. If I know someone and I know the other prosecutor, not only am I trying even harder because I like to win, but I'm also smack talking that prosecutor. You know, I'll send a little message uh, the morning of a trial, and kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno style and say, oh, have you been uh, eating a lot of salt lately? You look like you put on a little, a little salt weight or something like that. I actually have sent that text one time as a joke to someone, but I will smack talk uh, the entire time because I want to win. And if I know that person, I want to win even more. Every client I represent, every time we go to trial, I'm going to do everything I can to win. But if anyone thinks that just because some friends with the prosecutor doesn't mean I'm going to pull any punches, I'm going to punch them as hard as possible. I mean, not really. Courtroom punch, right? Figuratively punch. And it's what I do every day, right? You see these people all the time, you become friendly with them, and then you fight it out. The key to being a good lawyer, and this is something they teach you back in law school, you should be able to fight like dogs in the courtroom and still go grab a beer afterwards because it's not personal. And it, the problem is on both sides. The prosecutors that take it too personally, that the defendant allegedly did something or gets acquitted or whatever and then is mad at the defense attorney uh, or doesn't like the defendant, whatever the case may be, they can't take it too personally. The defense attorney can't take it too personally. So I think it's great being friends with prosecutors, being friends with defense attorneys, we all need friends, right? But it should never compromise your ethical duty to fight as hard as you can for your client. It never compromises mine. Again, I'm Josh Campson. I'm a criminal defense attorney. If you found value here, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you know what's coming next. And I look forward to dropping a lot more value for you. Thanks a lot.